Hey guys, it's Thomas from the Barber Style Directory and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be cutting the hair down wave length and then doing a light taper on the side and the back. It's a very straightforward video. Don't forget to check out the blog associated with this video by clicking the link in the description. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll know when we release new content. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Welcome back guys. As usual, I'm going to start the haircut off by combing the hair into its natural state. And then now I'm going to take the one guard with the lever fully open and knock his hair down wave length. And notice how I let the clipper contour with, contour with the shape of his head. And after every few strokes, you see me go back with the comb. That way I get the cut as smooth and even as possible. And I'm just gonna repeat this all the way around the head. Making sure that we pay attention in the crown area. You don't wanna gap anybody. Now we're not gonna be doing a ball taper. So I'm basically gonna do the same steps, except I'm skipping the part where I balled out with the detailers on my T-outliners. So really it's gonna take you less time, but you do the same steps. So here the lever is fully open. And then here you see me drop it down and open it just a little bit. Now notice how I'm using the corner of the blade. When you're doing a taper, it's just like a fade, except you're, you're blending in a much smaller space. So you, there's no really no need to use the entire blade. So what I just did on the taper, I'm doing the same thing on the beard. That way you have a smooth transition from the taper into the beard. And then here I have the one guard with the lever fully open. Here, I drop it down with the lever fully closed and go right up under that one open. And here I open it just a little bit. The thing about tapers, it's all about trigger play. So you have to really manipulate the lever because you're really only trying to blend certain spots and not an entire area. Now this is the 116th guard with the lever halfway open. Going up under that one closed. And then you just see me close it right here. And then now we're just going to take the one and a half guard just to knock away any weight that we see. Now what you see me doing now, this is just touch up work. I'm just going back and knocking out any dark spots that I see. So you, right here, the main thing you just need to do is just manipulate the lever to different lengths to get, until you get a smooth blend. And notice how I continuously comb the hair. All right, and now we're gonna move on to the neck taper. And I'm gonna repeat the exact same steps that I did on the left side. In this video, I'm gonna show you each side that I tapered. Normally, I usually skip one side or just show the steps, speed it up, but in this video, I'm gonna do it step by step on each side. This is the one guard with the lever fully open. And notice how I'm holding the clipper flush. 
That way you won't make any hard guidelines when you're blending. One guard with the lever fully closed right here. Then we open it halfway. And guys, see how often I comb? I'm telling you, that's very important to getting a nice clean blend. This is the one and a half guard. And now we're just gonna knock the rest of that line out with the half guard or the 116 guard. Guys, I promise you, I know some of you may be watching this at home and be like, man, I really, I don't know if I can do that. All you have to do is pull up this video and follow the steps. And I guarantee you will get the exact same result. If you follow the steps, it's a tried, it's a tried and true method. I'm telling you guys, it doesn't matter the hair texture. If you just follow these steps, you will get the same result. So if you guys are beginner barbers out there, just find someone that will let you cut their hair and pull up this video and you know just follow the steps step by step. You can pause, rewind the video, whatever you need to do. And since I've explained the steps on the left side and the back side, I'm just gonna kind of gonna let you guys watch this side and see if you can follow along. Alright, so right here, this is just some curling mousse just to lay his hair down. You see me combing in to distribute it evenly across his hair. And then I'm going to take a blow dryer and a brush and I'm going to uh, brush it in. And then we're going to proceed with the lineup. Notice how I don't push it in to exaggerate it. I just want to find that balance between natural and sharp. So of course you're going to have to take some hair off. Just don't go overboard because when it grows back, it's gonna look really funky if you push it in too far. You see me combing the hair out towards his hairline, so that way when he brushes his hair, 
there will no be there won't be any fly hairs coming over his hairline. This will also keep you from pushing the sides in too far also. If you comb the hair outwards, you won't be pushing back too many hairs. And here you see me keep the arch natural. Like I said, I want to give it a sharp curve, but I don't want to exaggerate it to where it will look too bad. And as you can see, he's a little light in the corner, so I'm not going to push that. I'm just going to get it as natural as I can, but to where you can still see it. See, I'm not gonna, well, I, I could have pushed that, but I, I dare not do that. So God, I'm telling you, unless the client requests it, I, I, I never push his line back. Right here, we're just doing some touch up work with the razor. This is actually my first time cutting his hair. But guys, this is the finished product. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video.